In today's cinematic universe, one of the most well-known and well-liked heroes is none other than Captain Steve Rogers. Whether it be his intriguing backstory, exceptional hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, or patriotic flair, this super soldier is consistently admired among readers and viewers alike. In this documentary, we'll explore five unique aspects of the captain's image to discover the science behind him and ultimately answer the question of what defines his ever-changing persona. Section 1. The History Behind Captain America Most are familiar with how Captain America became, well, Captain America. But just in case you forgot, here's Tony Stark with a friendly reminder. Your laboratory experiment, Rogers. Everything special about you came out of a bottle. Well, that's a simple way to put it. But if we really wanted to find the history behind, or what inspired such interesting backstory, the answer is going to lie within the Tuskegee experiments. Held during a 40-year period, these serum-related experiments were done by the U.S. Public Health Department and were conducted to see the effects of syphilis on 400 African-American men, all of whom were sharecroppers. And while the ideas of the comic book world and reality are generally similar, the details differ. Now, in Captain America's history, Steve Rogers is subjected to various tests, and through these tests he gains powers such as superhuman strength, stamina, and speed. The reasoning behind this may be that only the final serum was injected into Rogers, and that the previous stages would have had probably unforeseen consequences, and uh, the recipients of those, well, they probably weren't so lucky. So in this regard, uh, we're kind of digging into the mythology of the story, and that is, if the captain is indeed analogous to the nation, then might there be some unexplored mysteries, perhaps, that we wouldn't want to visit? Section 2 the reason why the character of Captain America was created. Nine months before the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, Captain America was already at war with the Nazis, this of course being used to fuel sentiments towards World War II. Marvel's first issue's cover in March of 1941 showed the valiant captain punching Adolf Hitler in the face. Not coincidentally, co-creators Jack Kirby and Joe Simon were among the many young Jewish Americans anxious for the U.S. to join the war against Hitler. Interestingly enough, Jewish artists played a pivotal role in the development of many superhero comics at the time. As noted by Kirby, We weren't at the war yet, but everyone knew it was coming. That's why Captain America was born. America needed a super patriot. He symbolized the American dream. Now onto the third section. Captain America's Reflection on History In his earliest adventures, he fought against the Japanese and the Nazis. This way, he clearly defined the enemy and set up the World War II sentiment. While the Second Great War came to close, Captain Rogers continued his villain-beating journey. During the 1950s, the communists replaced the Nazi as the epitome of evil for many American people. In harmony with the Cold War mentality, the superhero became Captain America, the communist smasher. Also during this time period was the famous partnership between Rogers and his right-hand man, Sam Wilson, or the Falcon. In their various exploits, they worked together to combat poverty, racism, pollution, and corruption representing both the, front, the New Frontier and the Civil Rights Movement. Enough. Captain America's avoidance of Vietnam War paralleled the same enmity that the American people shared for the topic. In 1972, a year infamously known for the Watergate scandal, the captain even went as far as drop the alias, Captain America, choosing instead the moniker Nomad, the man without a country. Section 4 captain's representation of American values. The first value we observed was in Captain America's physique and strong body, similar to female models enforcing the ideal body image on the women of our generation. Captain America is doing the same to the men. We also believe that the captain's leadership role in the Avengers is no coincidence. Being a white male, Captain America represents the hidden value America puts on white men to be their leaders as seen in the presidents before Obama, as well as business leaders. Individualism is also a value represented by the captain. In the most recent Captain America movie, Civil War, the captain refuses to sign a document that would place him under the control of the UN. In 117 countries, it states that the Avengers shall no longer be a private organization. Instead, they'll operate under the supervision of a United Nations panel 
only when and if that panel deems it necessary. The captain had his own beliefs and did what he thought was right, even though it was against the rest of the Avengers' decision. Protection is the last value we saw in Captain America. The weapon he uses is a shield, and even though he can throw it and bash his enemies with it, the fact that it's a shield represents the protection that Captain America provides to his country. The corporation that works with Captain and other Avengers is also called SHIELD. We believe that this represents the military's emphasis on protecting its citizens above all else. Section 5. Captain in the present day. Recently, the internet has been filled with rumors that Captain America is gay with Bucky. Marvel confirmed these suspicions at a Comic Con, and we believe this decision was definitely influenced by the public. The LGBT community have been fighting for equality and their ideas are slowly becoming more accepting in American culture. Marvel is a business, and to have customers, they are gradually shifting towards the audience's cultural beliefs. Additionally, Captain America has recently been seen in comics uttering the iconic phrase, Hey Lyra, for the first time in his 75 year comic book history. Arguments for his real identity have been made on both sides. While one argues that this is just a red herring, and Captain America, who is the most anti-Nazi, anti-terrorist character that has ever existed, could never take up such a scandalous role, the other side finds enjoyment in it, and former Marvel president Stan Lee has even described it as a hells of a clever idea. We believe that this possible double agent theme is a result of the common use of spies in today's society. Due to globalization and the many interactions countries experience today, spies are also more possible and more common. How Marvel will continue Captain America's story is a mystery, but based on our analysis, we are confident that the Captain will truly be changing side by side with America. Oh my goodness, it's not that hard. <laughs>